What's up guys, welcome back to the Yak Attack channel. So in the last video, I filmed part one of my turbo manifold build. So this is gonna be part two. And uh, in the last video, I got the collector all tacked together. The only thing that I didn't show was getting it bolted down and ready for final welding. So what I did was I purchased a chunk of 6060, 6061 aluminum and I went ahead and drilled some holes and tapped them for these bolts. Um, what this is gonna do is it's gonna pull the heat away from this T4 flange when I weld it. And it's also going to keep the argon in there um, along with these plugs. I actually have a separate video on making these plugs for like 10 bucks, got them off of Amazon. Um, so check that video out if you want to know how to back purge on the cheap. So argon's gonna fill in here. It's gonna rid this of oxygen and um, I'm gonna pull heat out with this chunk of aluminum. So I'm gonna use 308 on 308 filler on the piping up here. But since this is a mild steel flange, I'm gonna go ahead and use 309L, which is made to join like 304 and uh, mild steel. The only issue with that is for the 308 rod, I have um, the proper size rod. But for my 309, all I had was point, I think it's a 0.045 and it's a really um, thin welding wire. So what I did was I wrapped um, a bunch of them um, together. Um, I don't know how I would explain that, but basically it's gonna be the equivalent of welding with like a 1 16th um, to 3 32nd uh, welding rod. So I already tested it um, on this piece back here and uh, it works pretty well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and send it. All right, I got this thing all welded up and uh, it's cool to the touch now. I just pulled the bolts off. Came out pretty good, um, especially for my first one. Pretty, pretty happy with it. Could have been, so the, the hardest part for me was uh, the center here. Um, kind of got a little sloppy down in there, but I just had to run some really long stick out on my TIG torch. So your stick out refers to your tungsten right here. So I had to really extend this thing. And when you do that, you don't get the best uh, gas coverage. So kind of be kind of to be expected that those welds aren't super great, but everything on the outside, I mean, it's pretty, pretty uniform, pretty consistent. I feel like I got some good, uh, decent penetration. So yeah, next thing I got to do is, uh, start mocking up the turbo, then I can start running my uh, my pipes to my flange. All right, so I ended up mocking the turbo up where I wanted it, which is basically hanging outside of this hole right here. I already pulled it off and I ended up welding this round bar to the collector, uh, to the head flange. That way I can keep it in position um, and I can just pull this guy off, take it over to my workbench, and now I can start uh, 
doing the runners for this guy. So I'll probably do like one or two, and then I'll break this uh, this loose. Um, it's just tacked from here to there and smooth this out. And then, cause it'll already be held in place by the runners. So I won't need that once I get a couple of them ran. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so I just finished tacking together this last section here. So this thing is pretty much ready to go. I need to prep it still, um, bevel all the, uh, all the edges and clean everything up. I'm gonna throw it on the car and show you the turbo placement because I haven't shown that yet. So let's do that. Well, there it is, turbo hanging out the front. And uh, yeah, this thing ended up kicking my butt, honestly. Um, I still need to prep everything before final welding. And I am gonna remove this bar here. Um, that was there just for mock-up purposes. So I'll remove that in the next video, prep everything, and then weld this thing out. So that'll be part three, and it should be complete on the next video. So. Stay tuned for the next one, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.